Hey everybody, Jimmy and Lou. Hi there. Enjoying our Paps Blue Ribbon today. It looks like uh, we might have a little rain. With the election coming up soon, what's always one of the big topics for the election is gun control. You know, I mean, I could see people being trained on handling the gun, but Lou thinks you should have it, uh, gun control, and I think there shouldn't be any. Why do you think, Lou, there should be some gun control? I don't know. I just think there's too many crazy people in the world that are able to... They were in New York or New Jersey that are able to get guns. And yeah, but you don't think... cut down on some uh, innocent people getting killed and stuff if we had some drug uh, gun laws in effect. Well, you know, in states that they have looser gun control, there seems to be less crime. I mean, some areas of, of America, I think you need them, you know, to protect yourselves, whether it's bear, like in Pennsylvania, yeah, like a lot in the of rural bear, areas, or, rural. you know, but, um, you know, what do you feel about, you know, if you really save lives, that might be one thing, but don't you think, especially with the administration we have now in office since they seem to be so corrupt in things that they just would want to take away the guns. This way we're easier to control. That's true. Because it's written in the Constitution of an organized militia might be needed one day to overthrow the government. I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. Well, it's actually written in the Constitution. But, you know, my, my last point, Lou, and you tell me if I'm right, and right or wrong about this. Would the Jews have got in the boxcars while Hitler was in power if they had guns? Nah, probably not. They would have fought. If they knew where they were going and everything, they probably would have pulled the guns on them. That's right. Defended themselves. But, you know, so we should learn from history. You know, what do you think now? Well, you sway me a little, but still, I don't know. Maybe that we should have guns in our houses just to protect ourselves, like if anybody breaks in in the night. Well, say, you know, I don't want to tell anybody what I got saved in my house if ever something bad happened. But when, if this, you know, if President Ebola keeps letting the Ebola break out like the way it seems to be going, and the lies we're hearing over that, at least what I believe, okay, when people are hungry and they don't have water to drink and they can't, you know, find food, you know, to uh, eat, what would they do? I guess they'll, uh, they'll have to break into some stores and get uh, some water, some food. And after that's all gone, they might be breaking into people's that's houses. It. yeah, sure. That's another reason I think we should be able to bear arms. So, well, just something to think about. We'll talk to you all soon. Bye now. Take care.